ask yourself why you did that only to Simu. That's all I want to know. That's all Question. I want to know. I know there's going to be a lot of disagreements about this one, but please hear us out and take into consideration just a couple perspectives. Yeah, I won't stay for this slander of the great state of Utah. Just kidding. Maybe I will. Yeah, guys, this is going viral right now, and we are not just talking about Simu Liu hitting the four-pointer in the NBA All-Star Celebrity Game. We're talking about... Some of the racism on the Jumbotron lookalike game. Boom, boom, boom. You would not believe, Andrew. There are 10,000 comments on this topic on the internet right now. And it's seemingly such a trivial thing. But sometimes people are only willing to engage in macro concepts yeah. through trivial happenings. And I think that this is one of those times. Yeah, and it's really being debated on one, how racist was this? And two, why are everybody being so sensitive about it? I read like 6,000 comments for this video, guys, so I hope you appreciate it. Um, I'm just gonna, for the sake of simplicity, split it into 33, 33, 33. This was the distribution. The first opinion was Utah's racist classic. That's what Donovan Mitchell said. That's what Russell Westbrook said. Everybody knows that they do not treat non-white people very good in Utah, so it does not surprise me at all what they did on the racist lookalike cam to Simu Liu. Um, the part that I agree with this is, even the in arena announcer when this was happening, and I'll play the clip right now. That's a limited thing, but we'll take it. They were like, oh, wow, yeah, I don't fully agree with this one, but uh, we'll take it anyway, moving on. <laughs> so even he was like, oh, shoot, what the heck is going on? <laughs> he here? was like, oh, you went hard on Simu right off the bat, huh? Ooh. Getting a little hot in here. All right. And then, uh, so there was actually some acknowledgement that there was like, ooh, that was kind of a harsh joke. Listen, it was a joke. I get it. It was in the form of comedy or so that they're going to say. But here's the thing. They didn't roast anybody else. Ooh. And they didn't really roast Shaq. Roasting Shaq and comparing him to Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart's like a billionaire, too. Like, Shaq's a matter. billionaire. It Dude, and Lindsey Vaughn's comparison was like even better looking than Lindsey Vaughn is, too. So that, that definitely... Listen, I'm not saying it's the it's not the joke itself. It's not, the joke itself wasn't super racist. If it was in a roast format, if this was a joke fest, if everybody's getting joked on, fine, that's okay, that's totally cool. But to, for him to be the only one that you made, fun, I'm not gonna make fun of you. I'm not making yeah. fun of you, but you, I'm making fun and of you. You know what's goofy when some people on the internet were like, "Yeah, well, they do this at my favorite hockey games." We're not at a hockey game, though. We're at the NBA game, and nobody else got it. Like, you can't subject your standards from, like, this one random hockey game you went to to this one specific joke about Simu. Um, so the part I disagree with this on is, like you said, Andrew, I don't think it's the most racist thing ever. And, uh, yeah, 3 out of 10 in this context that should be 0 out of 10 on, like, tiers of racism is still 3 more than everybody else got. Yeah, I actually don't even think the joke is that racist. I think the reason why they did it and the intention is almost a little bit more racist. That's right, my it's thing. almost more of the pattern than the actual specific yeah, incident. Yeah. Moving on, Andrew, this is the middle opinion. Yeah, man, this incident was like 50-50, a little sus, but not too big of a deal. I don't know, maybe Simu overblew it a little bit by, you know, just being offended, so offended by it. I don't know, I'm kind of 50-50 on it. Yeah, so so I get it. We have a lot of friends that feel this way, and um, even at me at first, I didn't feel outraged at this either, you know, because I just, just hear and see so many other more, like, like detrimental right, things all the time, things, right? Yeah. yeah, so to me, this isn't that bad. But then I really thought about it. I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. This really falls into a larger pattern of how people treat Asian men, right. particularly Asian men. Like we said, they weren't going to do this to Hassan Minaj. They weren't going to do this to Michelle Yeoh or any Asian woman that was out there. They didn't do it to any black they players. They didn't even do it to Shaq. I thought they were about to troll Shaq yeah. by showing a big fat guy that was Shaq's looking like, and then they just went with Kevin Hart. That yeah, was so, so, so I guess what I'm saying is, to bust out the roast game Joe only on Simu, it's clearly showing some level of disrespect. And it falls underneath the whole pattern that every Asian guy can almost agree with is like, yeah, people can make fun of Asian guys and they don't think yeah, it's a big deal. It was deal. almost like the, <laughs> the uh, in-stadium team was like, yep, we'll go wholesome, 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 wholesome. Oh, yeah, Simu, he's going to be the subject of a Comedy Central <laughs> roast or maybe even like F. Tony type tone. Um, which is a comedy show that is very edgy. Um, by the way, guys, uh, the part that I disagree with this comment on, just saying, ah, yeah, it's 50-50, is like you said, some people, they might not really understand that in media, this is a common pattern. Mm. In any sort of mainstream media, bro zone, specifically sports are all team contact sports, kind of bro I mean, I mean, It's just like, 
I'm just like, yo, listen, the thing itself wasn't a big deal, but the continuation of the pattern that you always see. Listen, this is the celebrity game, man. You had a chance to do something nice for Simu and show him, you know, show him like, hey, like welcome him into the world of celebrity, you know, because he's there now. And it's just like, no, you, you decided to break him down. Andrew, here's the last uh, 33 distribution opinion on the spectrum. Uh, it was quit whining, man. It's just a little joke, man. Oh, man, if we left Asians out, they'd be complaining. Now we included Asians. Now they're still complaining. You can't win in this woke era, man. Golly. I hate it. I do agree that we have to be careful with the term racist because I think that there's different levels of racism. So I think a lot of people get confused. They either want to call it racist or not racist. But right, I, that's like a zero or a 10. Yeah, right? yeah. I wish that there was like more of a scale. Like, hey, I'm talking about this is like low, low racism. Yeah. But it definitely falls on the scale because yeah, it's of the probably attention. like a two out of 10, three out of 10, right? Yeah. So I guess it's hard to be like, I, I wouldn't want to overreact at this. I do think it's worthy of speaking up about it. I think Simu's response of being like, hey, that wasn't cool i thought that was appropriate some people thought he was being too sensitive i'm like he said it wasn't cool it wasn't cool should he could he have explained himself in more detail been like hey how come hassan didn't get clowned on like this or something like that but i think either way um yes uh, uh we do have to uh, on the internet be careful about calling everything like 10 out of 10 racism. right because you're saying then people become numb to it and yeah. when something does happen they're just like well if it ain't 10 out of 10, I can't be bothered to pay attention to it. This was 3 out of 10, 4 out of 10. I can't even see that with the microaggressions. Those might as well not even exist to me. And I can see how if, I guess, if I was, theoretically, let's just say I was a white person from Utah, I could see how if I was raised that way, I would feel that no. way about these accusations but, that seem like they pop up like every five seconds. Believe me, Utah people or whoever was doing the camera work, trust me, I like myself a good roast joke. I like myself a good accent. On this channel, whenever we do accents and impressions of people, we do impressions of everybody. Equal opportunity mocking. Right. right. It's way more about getting singled out. Um, here are my couple takeaways, Andrew. I would say this. I just feel like Asian dudes are always in this weird status in Asia in like American society where we're always getting rookie hazed. Yeah. You know how like you're just constantly perpetually stuck in like that, that freshman in the frat the rookie on the team where you're just like, man, I'm bringing the donuts. Yeah, it's still like everybody's got my back because I guess I'm kind of American and I'm part of the team, but like, why am I getting the lower rookie status? Yeah, it seems like even though some Asian people out there are very talented and they're famous now, it just seems like a lot of people feel like they're nothing to envy and nothing to be jealous of. Like, man, they're, st they're still not doing anything I care about. I don't care about that stuff, so I don't think he's famous. I don't have to respect him. And I'm right. like... Yeah, I mean, there's so many different talents and movies and ways to get famous and rich now, but that, it was still wrong what they did. Yeah, I, I'm still going to treat them like Justin Chan's role in that movie 21 and over. You can't uh, make me care about the global market. I'm American if he uh, care about no global markets. Moving on to number two, Andrew. Um, like I said, it can be not a big deal in the semantic, like, detail perspective and be a big deal at the same time. No, it can be labeled as racist technically and it not be the biggest deal in the world. I get it. And I don't think it's the biggest deal but, in but the world. But a lot of people don't want to give it that nuance or have that nuanced structure in their mind. Yeah, right? I mean, if you talk to a lot of black people, like, they, they talk about, like, yo, like, the thing, the cop pulled me over, I got looked at like this, and blah, blah, blah. Lady like, across the street, All right? the time. They'll just, it's very, like, common. That's why, you know, I mean, it's unfortunate that that's that way, but in a way, this conversation should be had. Um, point number three, Andrew, you might expect this in hockey or this tone to exist in hockey, but not the NBA. But I, a lot of people would combat that and be like, yeah, you were in the NBA, but that was like Utah. Yeah, but but regardless, this was an NBA event, David, and you always point out the fact that so much of the NBA revenue, which is anywhere from 30 to 40% globally of the global NBA revenue comes from Asians. Right. But like there's only one full Asian player in the NBA and Asians pump potentially up to 40% of the global S revenue stream. So into you the NBA. could say by that ratio, Asians are the biggest fans of the NBA. Yeah, because they're fans of something that they don't really see themselves represented in and they're pumped, they're just like super fans of it. So now Chinese and So Filipinos. they had a couple Asians in the celebrity game. We felt represented in that, but then you still had to punch down and knock them off and, and, and kind right, don't of... Hey, hey, don't feel too good about yourself, Simu. <laughs> I don't give a damn hey, about no no, uh, no phase four hey, superheroes anyway. Hey, they ain't real superheroes to me. Hey, Simu, just to remind you, you're still an Asian dweeb. Huh? Yeah, still remind me of this fat 
dorky guy over here. Shout out to him, though. But, I mean, he no, got I'm caught sure in the crossfire, guys. you know. But, yeah, I mean, obviously, that's a fat, dorky-looking guy. Um, moving on to point number four, Andrew. I guess I agree there are some aspects that made it cloudy. To the point, Andrew, it was so cloudy that some Asians even sort of went against Simu. Or at yeah. least didn't agree with them. Yeah. I wouldn't say they went against them. but like, Yeah, that's why I think it's important to have this conversation about really what it means and what pattern it yeah. falls into. If because if you look at it on a detailed micro level, I could see why someone could make that excuse. You know what it is? When I saw the screenshot, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I was like, ha, ah, they're roasting people. And then I watched the rest of the video and I was like, ah, they didn't roast Actually, anybody they were else. Like giving props to people or yeah. just pointing out like a ball trait. I was like, wait, hold on. Something's off here. So something's off, definitely, guys. And that's why you have these conversations. What do you think, Andrew, the fat, dorky guy felt when he guys. was like, oh, I was just happy to be on Jumbotron. And now I realize, oh, man, I'm a laughing stock. Um, I think it was a memorable experience for him. I'm sure in the moment he was very happy and excited to be on the Jumbotron because, you know, it's probably the first time he's on a Jumbotron. You know, he might be from a different country, whatever. But, uh uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't know if he's insulted by how it turned out. I'm sorry, man. There's nothing, no, there's nothing personal. If somebody knows him, let us know what happened. Or yeah, how, like how he's processing it in the comment section below. Um, last but not least, Andrew. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm glad it happened, and I'm glad Simu responded to it, and I'm glad there's discourse over it. Even though, like we said, it was 33, 33, 33. Some people were agreeing with Simu, or even going further than him. Some people were in the middle, and some people were like against it. I, I, I want to put this in perspective, guys. Comparing this to the Thomas Keon from Purdue University when he said that at the at the graduation of one of the campuses that. Thomas Keon thing was worse than this. I understand that. Yeah. I'm not putting those things on the same level. Yeah, like because that was at least a four. Yeah, this is like, it was supposed to be a joke, but it was just kind of an ill-timed and kind of like out of context yeah, joke. It's just that's a little why. hacky. Yeah, and it's just a little bit like, wait, why? So that's why I'm saying, I'm not going around yelling that Utah's racist or the NBA's racist. I would never, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it was insensitive and you have to ask yourself, camera guy at the Utah Jazz Arena, whatever, ask yourself, why you did that only to Simu. That's all I want to know. That's all Question. I want to know. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comment section below. I expect there to be disagreements. Keep it civil. Like I said, guys, the incident itself, not too big of a deal, but it just fits into a larger pattern of disrespect. Let us know what you guys think. Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.